Okay, so now, uh, till now we see how we can SSH to our instance using the public IP address. Now I'm going to show you how you can SSH using the private IP, private IP before address. So for that, if we see our backend instance, uh, see there is no public IP address, there's only private IP address. So we can SSH using the private IP address and how it is done. Uh, if you remember, I created both of these instance in my VPC, my, my virtual private cloud. So inside the VPC, if you create multiple subnets, all those subnets can communicate with each other using this private IP address, even if they don't have the public IP address. Public IP address, within the public IP address, you can also communicate, but uh, it actually helps us to communicate outside of the VPC, like by normal user, but using the private IP before address, uh, all the subnets can communicate with each other. It actually make it secret so that uh, external entities like our users or some if they if anyone have some like uh, uh, bad intention they cannot harm our projects. Okay, so for that let me copy my puppet IP before address. Go to our instance. So if you remember, so I created both my front end and back end with the same key. So let me duplicate this step. So if I use ls in here, there is nothing. Oh, so the tutor application is in here. So let me just clear all of this. Okay. So for that, what there's two methods. One is that I will create a uh, heap and name like uh, entire dot pam fold. Then I I'll just uh, paste the key value in here. Or else, what I can do? Go to my file explorer go where I just install my, oh, sorry, save my key. Then I can just drag it and drop at the left section in here. If I just press it, then it will automatically copy. See, it's uploading. Okay, so now if I use ls, see, it's in here, cat and time dot pam. This is my key, okay. So now what I can do, I have to give permissions for security purpose. If I show you ls hyphen la, my entire PAM has some read and write other stuff. But for security purpose, I only give the permission for the owner of this file, only the read permission, not other permissions. So for that, what I can do, uh, ch mode 400 means uh, the owner is only having the permission for read it, then the key. Now if it's ls la, see, it's in this way. Okay, so now what I have to do to FSH, I have to like FSH, then dash I, uh, case sensitive, then entire PAM, then I have to specify the username, which is the Ubuntu, at the rate, then my private IP, oh, sorry, not this one. So let me just, okay, so let's go in here, copy our private IP before, then insert it. Now if I hit enter, I should be able to FSH. See, it's a new server, so that's why it's actually taking my permissions, yes. And now I am in here. So let me clear it. 